All right, the next up, the next thing we're going to do is my favorite part of the show nowadays, which is unboxing a bunch of artisans. Here we go. So we're going to start with this one from, I think, Key Labs. I don't even know which one this is. Let's open it. Oh, nice. So the there are two here. So hold on. I think this focus is not 100%. Let's use the other camera, if we may. So this is the Geek Gorilla or something like that, which is this Geek Gorilla. Very nice sculpt. This is the first one that I have. And here's the butt. I, I'm almost sure that this is called Geek Gorilla. And let me show you what I'm what I'm doing nowadays. I have a Trello board for the artisans. So I can let me open that. Oops. Uh, login. Google. All right, let me try to find this one. Shipping to Brazil. Let me see if I can find this Geek Gorilla here. Let me search. Geek, Geek Monkey. Let's move it. So it is in shipping to BR. Geek Gorilla. Let me sort by. Sort by name so here it is geek monkey move it here that you stole the warble and daffy what you mean stole okay so geek gorilla let me put it on my little artisan case i didn't put them on the big one yet and we can go to the next one which is my first uh, from what's the name of this guy? Sludge Kit, I think. So this one is from Sludge Kit. I don't know what this sculpt is calling, but it's a very nice one. Kind of like it. I love the colors as well. And we can see his logo there. Do you know any Brazilian artisan? I do not, man. I really wish there were at least some Brazilians. All right, let's go to the next one. And if you guys want to see more of a particular one, just let me know. This is a very interesting artisan. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is the tiny, tiny... Uh, <laughs> this is a tiny Arduino, the smallest Arduino you can buy nowadays. So this is a full Arduino board. Ed, I do remember your friend, which is a designer. Is he, does he want to start doing that, doing this? All right, this next one here, there's a little giveaway of what this is. This is also a first for me, which is a Kibuto, Kibuto. I don't know how to properly pronounce. You guys can see. Oh man, that would be amazing if we get a Brazilian sculptor. Kibuto. That's the one, Kibuto. Wow, look at this sculpt on the top. Yeah, this is this is seriously nice. Yeah, the details are amazing. Look at this. Wow. You know what? I may get more Kibutos in the future. Really like that, how they look. And I try to always keep those cases in case I swap them, trade them or sell them in the future. Try to always keep them. 
Okay, this one, uh, I think I have two of those. I bought two sludge kits uh, because this one I bought uh, earlier and this was a uh, quote unquote used, but those two are brand new. So I don't remember the scoped. So let's take a look. I have a friend good at resin work. Do you know a 3D file to print to make an MX stem out? I do not. To make the base of the caps. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've seen people with 3D printed ones, but I don't know any models. Let's check this one out. Oh, nice. I remember now. This is kind of uh, something that may go with carbon. Check this out. All right, hit me up if you need help. I can I can try to help you find it. Sludge kid on the butt, the side and down details. You recognize them, Pedro? <laughs> Very nice, right? Okay, let's put them here and let's open the other one. Yeah, the, those they really ran recently. Are those the one you won for me, Pedro, if I remember? Oh, and this one I like even more. Cool, man. Thank you again. So it's finally here. This one is really crazy and I love the colors as well. And how there's a little bit of blood on the, I don't know if those are teeth. Oh, and this one has the sludge kid initials on the back and sure enough, on the butt as well very cool so i have now i now have three sledge kids so let's move them together oops sorry guys i thought i was on this camera all right let's see what we got next we got now some, let me see if I can take this cable out of the way. It's being a little. All right, we have some clack keys. Let's see what's on this one. <laughs> nice. So this is how it opens. Oh yeah, this is the Hellboy. I remember this one now. This was one of the first that I bought on this new phase of mine. Really dig this one because I love Sin City. So this one has a special meaning to me. This is the Hellboy. That's a cool one, right? I love it. Really like this one. Okay, this thing is starting to be too small for my <laughs> artisans. Right, why don't we do more CYO? Because I just can't get enough of this guy. He's such a nice guy and does so many nice things that I can't help myself. Every time he opens a raffle, I'm in. And we did cover a lot of the stories behind his coats last stream. But basically it's this cards where there's a little story on the back. And here he puts the name of the colorway. This one I'm having a hard time reading. Is it Fowl's Fit? Not sure. Vowels. Vowelsilt? Not sure, not sure. So <laughs> we kind of went overboard with this one. Oh, and look at this. He sent me a... Wait, this is cool. I have a key ring now. I'm gonna put this on my car key ring. Can you stop tracking camera? Okay, I don't think it will stop. Okay, I'm gonna show it just disregard it. Look at this. So this is a pretty sick key ring. Love it. Yeah, so probably it, it, the, the cap came out defective and he made a keyring out of this. 
That's really cool. So let's keep it here. And let's see. Wow, I have way too many now. Let's check out each of the colorways. I'm going to open them all and then show you one by one on the camera. Ambassadors. So I'm going to have probably a full row only uh, with C CYOs, only with Ambassadors. Look at that. I don't have any Shishi. I'll, I'll also have one also. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No doubt I am one of the, of the nerds that uses artisans on his key rings. Okay, so we have a... This one is probably going to my giveaway. Because uh, I have two now. So I'm going to set it aside. And I'm going to be giving that one away along with the others. And let me show you them up close. Here's the full family. Uh, I think my favorite is either this one or this one. Right now. So, and I believe one of them is I got for free. Like, uh, he sent me out of generosity. So, thank you so much for the extra ambassador and the key ring. TTY. All right, I'm going to put those outside of the box because they don't fit anymore. Yeah, the, I love the Hyperfuse. I really like the Hyperfuse one. This is definitely going on a board soon. And why not? Why don't we put this one here as well? And I should be moving those to my new case, the one that I 3D printed. So we have two more packages of artisans to go through. Let's do the bad habit caps first. Let me grab some scissors because I don't like to rip those with my finger. But again, I don't know how to cut straight as well, so... Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice. This is the... I think it's called the T... Taka Keys or something like that. And I got two here. Those are from Bad Habit Caps. So it's like an angry guy with a... I don't know what the story is behind those ones. So these are the teeth. Tiki. Tiki keys, yes. And the eyes and whatnot. Very, very nice. So we have two colors. I think this one is a Halloween one. Not 100% sure. Yeah, those are fine. Very nice. Oops. All right, let's go to the last one. And I can already see it's more Sludge Kids. And I went a little overboard with my artisans. And there's a shit ton more coming. Oh no, it's not Sludge Kids. So those are wrath caps, but I don't know if it's only. So there's, there's a lot here, just realized. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. This is going to be amazing. Oh my god. Those, I was so, so waiting so much for those two. I'm looking like a, I'm sounding like a, a kid like I know. Anyways, those uh this here is the Reaper 2 and I know those are not very wanted. <laughs> very genuine enthusiasm. I, I felt like a kid on Christmas. So, yeah, this one is the Reaper V2, I think. Reaper 2. Something like that. I know this is not very wanted, but I, I really liked the sculpt. And this is my first bro cap. There we go. And this is also my first Wrath caps. So I don't remember the name of this guy, 
uh, of this colorway. It's the original uh, uh, one for him. I'm sure some of you will know. And this is how it looks pretty nice as well. And I love the colors. Set it aside here. Because now is the time for that enthusiasm, right? Because right here, I have my first Kipora. So that's where the enthusiasm came from. Petrov, I felt, I indeed felt like a kid. So this is called Singoro Skingoro. <laughs> Let me use my, my tool here, hold on. Oops. And I'm trying to remember the name. Oh, you know what? I have it. Yeah, I really like more subtle. I don't like the, the bling too much, but I would like to have... Let me show you this first. So this is how it looks. Ooh, there we go. I like the ones that are more like... Um, that has the, the details on the top a little bit. So there's that. Let's check out the butt. And I know the butt, they have a, the, the plain butt, but they are changing that because of the counterfeit one. I did check this one for, to know if it was the real deal and it is. So yeah, this is my first Kipora. And let me see if I have the name of this Kipora on my little Trello board. Kipora Cinco Drogo, that's the name, yeah. So this is a Cinco Drogo. And it's gonna go here under my last spot. Let me move this out of the way because yeah, the one of this one is I think my favorite sculpt um, of all. Like this is the Wild Caps, I think it's called. Let me see. I always know that stuff, but when I start streaming, I forget everything. Yeah, Wild Story Caps, that's the name. And this sculpt is the Lola. And it's a little S&M &S girl, but I love the details and I love this colorway as well. So really happy to be receiving this one. I love it. So yeah, this is that's about it. I think those are the artisans for today. We move those things aside. Any anything you guys want to see? I think you know, along with the caps that I ha already have, it's starting to be a little overwhelming. So that means I need to stop buying them. <laughs> But yeah, great collection, I think. Um, I still have two more packages of Artisans coming. But I think after those two, I'm going to have uh, step on the brakes a little bit and start trading and not more buying. Because I think I do have plenty now. Any closing thoughts before I move on? Let me see if I can move this aside. Hold on, let me do something. Let me actually move them to this one. So let's see here. You know, the bottom row needs to be with this one because I have only one. Yeah, artisans are very nice, but it's kind of addicting too. So be aware of that. <laughs> Maybe I should not put the red ones there. Maybe I should put... Oh, and I have an issue with this guy. At least it's not drugs. <laughs> of course. Yes. I guess. I guess that's a plus.
<laughs> if that's true, drugs would probably be less expensive. I think you're right. It's the worst part is I think you're right. Very nice. Okay, so now it fits a lot better on this one. Along with the ones that I have, I think I'm almost completing this case. Oh, I forgot about those two here. There we go. All right, I think now we're set. 